there for the NOAA Hurricane Hunters. I'm Adam Evans I'll be taking you through a live tour today of our hurricane plan to WP3D. For those of you who turned in last month, you got to see a live look at the G4. Today we're going to take you to look at our other plane that we take uh, through the eye of the storm and do a lot of our research and operational flight. Uh, so we're here at McGill Air Force Base. We're in Hangar 5. We're about to go take a tour of the plane. We have the APU running, so it's going to be kind of loud. So we'll just uh, kind of cut the tech off until we get up the stairs. We'll get on the ladder. We'll give you a full tour of the plane. So come follow me. considerably less noisy in here, so we'll start the tour in here. We walked up the air stairs, we're in the back of the plane now, uh, and we'll kind of go position by position, explain what we do with the plane when it's configured for a hurricane research mission, which is uh, what we're doing today. We're doing a test flight for the HRD department of the AOML, which is the Hurricane Research Division. They do a lot of really cool uh, forward-leaning stuff regarding uh, research for the hurricane. So one of the uh, one of the primary instruments we use on the, on the uh, plane to get uh, in situ data, real time data, as we drop a, a drop wind sonde out of this tube. The drop wind sonde falls out of the tube and collects uh, a lot of atmospheric data on its way to the surface, such as temperature, wind, pressure, humidity. All that data comes back to us, that observational data. We forward that on to the folks at National Hurricane Center, HRD. They feed that into the models that helps predict uh, intensity and track to give you guys an idea of where the plane, or where the storm rather, may be going. As you pan to the back, you can kind of get an idea of uh, what's going on in the back here. The scientists are getting ready for the flight. And the way back, we've got some folks in the gathering in the galley. They're doing, uh, preparing some of our takeoff data, our landing data, and uh, making sure the weight and balance of the aircraft is correct. We'll move forward through the plane now. And as we move forward, a couple more positions we'll talk about. That'll give you an idea of, of the breadth of skill we do here in the, in the plane. We have our lead tech that sits right here. He's kind of the in-flight mechanic for everything that we need down the plane. Hardware, software, networking. Anything goes down, goes wrong or breaks, this guy takes care of the problems. Real time in flight so that we don't lose uh, as much mission time and minimal impact to the mission. A lot of these racks right here are uh, it's kind of a, a bespoke setup. So we can remove these racks, we can populate the racks with different science equipment based upon the modules and our objectives for that mission flight. So today we have uh, various uh, different instruments and sensors set up. The scientists will sit in these seats and monitor their instruments and control the, uh, the modules from this, these positions. We continue to move forward here. The next two seats we have here depict the navigator on the right side. Obviously in a, in an extremely important position to get us to and from the plane. They help us get real-time updates to the storm track, get us uh, home safely, these guys here on the right, uh, vital to the success of the mission. On the left we have a flight director. This is a certified meteorologist. He flies with us on every hurricane mission and every science mission that we do outside of, outside of the hurricanes. This guy is our, our interface between the scientists in the back and the pilots in the front who are driving the bus. So uh, he makes a lot of mission decisions. We filter that up to us up front. And with that position, we work together as a team to facilitate all the objectives and accomplish the goal for that day. We'll finish up front here in the uh, flight station. So this is the uh, flight station, or sometimes called the cockpit in the P3. We've got 
got two pilot seats right here. The middle seat here is for our flight engineer. He sits here, he controls all the upper panels, uh, all the circuit breaker panel. And on the left here, we have a, uh, a seat for the principal investigator. That would be the lead investigator for that particular mission that day. He would sit here and again have more of a direct interface with the cockpit and the folks in the back. The two seats up front, obviously, are where your, uh, your two pilots are going to sit. Unlike the airlines, we don't necessarily have a, a left seat, right seat for a captain and, and flight in or first officer. So any of the pilots on board can take off and land the plane from either seat. We traditionally do it from the left side here. Uh, the left side will take off and land. We'll swap duties in, in flight. That's kind of uh, about it for the tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it at home, the Facebook Live followers. Uh, if you want to learn more about NOAA Hurricane Hunters, you can check out our website. And you can check us out on Facebook or Twitter. And before I go, I have to say a special hello to my daughter, Cindy. I love you. I'll see you after the flight. Thanks for joining us.